I'm having our lunch here at the Harare Falls, which today are not much more than a trickle. Well, Charlotte, what are your comments on today's <laughs> trek? <laughs> Wonderful so far. Having any problems? No problems at all, thank you. Nice scenery? Beautiful scenery, thank you. Bill. Done any swimming? No, no, just we watched a go. dabbling duck. Oh, ah, yeah. It's pretty tempting, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, what's the word from Australia? <laughs> <laughs> well, Barbara, you have some comments on the second day of the trip? Comments? Yeah. Oh, hell, I'm naked. <laughs> Hot feet. <laughs> yeah. Not as good as I used to be. Might be a good day for some swimming. Well, at least take the boots off and stick the feet in the water. <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> You'll be there in about... Has the trip been what you expected? It's been beautiful. <laughs> It's been really good. It's, um, I've had a lucky break. I've found someone to carry my cat. No, oh, that is lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody. Wasn't <laughs> a donkey. Wasn't a horse. He's a beast of burden. Is it any different from what you expected, or about the yeah. same? Not really. It's, yeah. it's much what I expected, I think, yeah, yeah. Good. didn't have too yeah. many the Easy part's over now, though, so. Yeah, no, the hard stuff's about to begin. That's right. But we're almost done for today, at least. Interview her tomorrow at <laughs> Tomorrow will be the hard day. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of the lunch scene here. Yeah, nice spot, isn't it? Sure is. Since it's been so dry, there's not, not much waterfall to see. I think they'll turn it on for us before we're through. Oh, yeah. Look back at the lunch hut. And we're about ready to finish off our second day of walking. Having our lunch way down here below the mountain. Hi. Hi. <laughs> well, the weather's gotten cooler and cloudy as we proceed on our second day of the hike. Out in the far distance, right there. In the middle of the V, that's McKinnon Pass, the halfway point of the walk, about eight miles in the distance. That's the highest point of the trek, and it's a steep climb up there, but we're all doing very well so far. Clinton River Valley, rather spectacular this afternoon. Snow on the mountains. This is where we've come from. Hello. You look nice on that rock. It's good up this rock, yeah. It gives some perspective to this shot, just how tall this waterfall is. Onto the rock is fell. Say that was the sorry? I only got to the bottom of the wall from my photograph. Okay, that's the last ten feet of it. 
thousand feet. It's pretty tall. I bet this is pretty spectacular after a rain. Mm, yeah. That'll be a nice picture. Oh, David has swum out all the way to the falls. He's going to be cold when he gets out. How's the water, David? How's the water? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Can you see them? Uh, you can see the uh, the next hut there at the top of the pass. On the top? You mean the one below these? No, on top. Top of the map. Yes. I can see the hut on with my uh, telescopic lens here. Oh, weather's That's our lunch stop tomorrow, yeah. We've got a long way to go before we get there. Snow appears to be, whoops, <laughs> blowing off the mountain top. We're almost to Pompalona Lodge, our second stop here on the track. have to cross this uh, rock river bed. I think that the T means track. Let's go that way and find out. Well, surprise, surprise, we've made it to uh, Pompalona Lodge. Our stop for the second night. McKinnon Pass, three and a half hours away. The last part of the track up here to Pompalona. Very rocky uphill. Last half hour of the journey was uh, by far the toughest part of this walk today. But now, a hot shower and a good meal awaits us at Pompalona in preparation for the big day tomorrow where we try to ascend and get over the pass. Nice looking place. <laughs> you don't want to tell us to talk to us, Kelly. No, it's all right. The friends back in the States want to know all about this place. <laughs> and here we've got, this is Bill, as you've never seen him before, possums. Look at that trillips. Listen to that noise. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Look at the things around them. Pouring a bit of a thing along with Bill. Put Susie back on. <laughs>
niet te maken. Ik heb het 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 niet te maken. How did your uh, music session go? Well, we got the B team on there now. Oh, they're, they're B team, all right. They're just not up to your standard. Who's winning the card game? We are being thrashed, actually. It's a sad situation, but. You want to explain this game to the Americans? I've never heard of it before. 500. 500. Brilliant. You win tricks. You win tricks. No, earn tricks. Is it like Pinochle? Oh, it doesn't matter either way. I don't know. I've never played Pinochle. Pinochle. You never heard of Pinochle? Is it a regular 52 card deck? No, yeah, it is, but then you, you take, take it out. To you take out. Yeah, so what are we doing, Sweetie? We have a game called Pinochle, it sounds like. You have to win tricks. Yeah. Hmm. Day three, and the skies have opened. Okay. I'm dictating my video. What do you think about this rain, Jonathan? I think it's great. It makes these waterfalls pump away. Yeah, but I don't like it. You don't like it? I like the clear weather. It is pretty, all the waterfalls, but... The multi-million dollar view from McKinnon Pass, where we're going up there, is going to be a waste of time, unfortunately. It'll be a different view. Yeah, a view of clouds and rain. <laughs> the hills are alive. Oh, best in the song. With the sound of water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Simone, what's the story? Hi! <laughs> We've run into the Freedom Walkers. How do you like it? We're, we're proud of you. We, we wish we had the guts well, to do what you're doing. I was thinking I wasn't going to see anyone because I thought I might like, miss you. But obviously I didn't get up early <laughs> enough this morning. <laughs> How do you like, like this rain? <laughs> <laughs> these waterfalls. They weren't there yesterday. <laughs> no, none of these waters. <laughs> It's had the rain last night out of the There's the helicopter. They just took somebody away on the helicopter here. <laughs> somebody couldn't make it. Sure. Giving a little <laughs> commentary. Yeah, it's got audio. You want to see yourself? I can play it back. Oh, uh, no, I don't think I do. <laughs> well, this is what they don't show you folks in the tourist brochures. <laughs> well done. <laughs> They've made it up to McKinnon Pass in the rain and the wind. How fast? How, what would you estimate the wind? It's about 50 mile an hour winds, maybe? Very strong winds, almost a little drop. But now we're safe at the summit pass hut. Where we have a three and a half mile drop back to the hut. <laughs> Three thousand foot drop. <laughs> oh, too bad. That's a saucy little thing. That seems better. People are still in good spirits despite the bad weather. What do you think? It's great. Though. You don't mind the bad weather? That's right. I do. I'm disappointed. I was looking forward to that view. I don't know. Dare I stick my head out the door and? Into the oh, more people are coming. Oh, hi. Hi. Yeah. Oh. Still galling forth. Ho! Oh. Holy guacamole! Well, in good weather, this is supposed to be one of the most spectacular views in the world. Here at the the 4,000 foot level, not much to see today. <laughs> Oh, look at that wind and the rain, and we've got to walk another four miles today in this stuff. <laughs> Good luck, guys. See you at the hut. Oh.
wasting away in Margaritaville, looking for my lost shaker of salt. Some people say that there's a woman to blame, but I think, oh, my lens cap is fogging up. Barbara, how was it? Oh, right. You're our daily, you have to give, you have to give us a report at lunchtime every day. Let me see if I can clear my lens. <laughs> there we are. What's for lunch? What am I having for lunch? Yes. It's a toasted sandwich, extra nice toasted. Where'd you get that? Just a normal sandwich and I'll toast it for you. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know. You already had yours? Yes, I did. Okay. Too late. Doing any fishing today, Jonathan? Yeah, eats. Well, I'm biting though. <laughs> How fast do you think that wind was coming around uh, from the monument up to here? Oh, a couple hundred kilometers an hour, I'd say. Seems very fast for that wind. How fast do you see hailstones? Really? Is it going to be cold enough? Yeah. That makes a bit of a difference. Oh, there we go. Pardon? Yeah. Do you want me to take some of you? Yeah. God, I don't know if my fingers will work. It's already rolling, so you just... Oh, is it? Oh, Where's where's start? It's already rolling. Oh, is it? Oh, sorry. Okay. What have we got to report? Wet, making well, it through this. My golf pants are working very well in this mountain climate. And now we've got a 3,000 foot drop over the next three and a half miles. And it's going to be a tough, almost as tough going down as it was going up. Yeah. We're real heroes doing this. Wasting away again. Hey, it's foggy. Margarita. It's gone foggy. Oh, well. Thank you. Was that really rolling? Yes, it was. I didn't see any numbers. Still here at the hut. No one wants to leave. Mark and Rachel cleaning up. Most of us are finished with lunch. Most of us have already uh, started down. But we have a few wins. Well, this was really a very fine sight for uh, sore eyes. We made it to Quinton Lodge after an extremely difficult day on the road. And the wet and the wind. Quinton Lodge set here in a very nice valley. And the rain has stopped. Sun trying to come out, it would appear. <laughs> that was the first time all day. I think I can get a decent look at the beauty of the waterfalls that are just all over. Coming down the mountains. We were way up there, hard to believe. Some very life-threatening situations there on that trip down the hill. Two people had to be helicoptered out, and uh, several other people had little minor injuries, and incredible that there weren't more. It was just a very tough, tough day. Well, I'm gonna send this to you. <laughs> Whoa. Well, Simone and I just keep running into each other. <laughs> she survived yep. the wet. She's seen the Sutherland Falls. Yep, went behind and couldn't really see much because it was so wet. But you have to go behind and um, no. just swim on the way. You took a swim? Oh, well, no, the water's about that deep, and so, you know, I thought about doing some laps, but I had my camera with me. Oh, uh, too bad. <laughs> well, incredibly, in the space of less than an hour, it's gone from being an awful, miserable day to just a beautiful afternoon. I'm on the road to Sutherland Falls, which is about uh, a half hour's walk from Quinton Lodge, where I dropped my backpack and Got something to drink and ran into Simone again. 
we're going to check out Sutherland Falls, the fourth highest waterfall in the world. Slogging through the path to Sutherland Falls, the fourth largest waterfall in the world, and there it is. Our first look. I can't even begin to get it in. As you can see, there are three steps to the falls. The top step, medium step, middle step, and the lower step. I think each is about uh, 700 feet, 225 yards of drop. Oh, we're almost underneath the falls now. And there's a path. I suppose we can walk behind them. Gonna give that a whirl. Cool. A couple of members of our group have apparently walked behind the falls. Why don't you take one with me in it? All right, here we are at Milford Sound. We've completed the Milford track, and there's the something glacier, and there's the sound, and the famous Mitre Peak. I mean, again, as, the sand, as the sand flies uh, are attacking. Yeah, it's rolling. Ready for our big uh, celebratory dinner where we get our certificates of achievement. That's enough. Maybe you could. All right, here's our hotel. Milford Sound Hotel below this peak. Just gotta keep moving to keep the sand flies off of me. It's a beautiful little town here. Mitre Peak again, Sound, Glacier, Wharf area where all the cruise ships leave from, another nice mountain here, apparently a recent avalanche, very nice afternoon except for these sand flies, with Mitre Peak in the background, this is probably the most uh, scenic conference room that I've ever been in. We, the Milford Trekkers, are gathered to receive our award certificates. Okay, first of all, I'd like to welcome you all here to Milford Sound and uh, congratulate you all on completing the Milford Trek. Um, what I've seen over here is not too many cases of the Milford Shuffle, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you haven't a, uh, excuse me, a bit sore. We have a uh, who are you? Sir here. Yes, who are you? <laughs> Has anyone been to Sumia? Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, you know, they were walking quite normally coming to you. So. <laughs> 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 so, you know, well, we're going to relax like all of us are. <laughs> <laughs> Althea Tolomash. <laughs> Martin Reesby.
Beautiful, beautiful sunset here at Milford Sound. Sunset at Milford.
We've made a stop here at the Underwater Observatory.